What is up, my fellow achievements? Hopefully all of you are having a very wonderful day today, and I hope all of you continue having wonderful days today, because we have another great episode from Grimgar. Now, regardless of how your viewpoint is on the series, I personally believe that this series is very entertaining, even though a lot of the times it's mainly just slice of life type stuff going on throughout the episodes. But I, like I've said many times in the past already, I love the way some of these characters feel very human. And once again, in this episode, that's kind of what it did. Now, some of the things were kind of to be expected when it came to some characterization we got for a character that was introduced, for instance, Mary, and she... We find out more about her past, of why she acts like she does, and why she seems stuck up or very distant from the party. We get a lot of information about her. And overall, when it came to her backstory, to revelations about her, it's something I did expect. Not exactly to that extent extent, but I expected some form of tragedy has happened to her in the past for her to act the way she does, because that's usually what happens with these some, these type of characters. Like, they get introduced, they seem like unlikable assholes, and then all of a sudden, maybe a couple episodes later, they get some, you know, characterization. You're like, oh, okay, now I understand them, now I like them. And that's kind of how her character was when she was first introduced, and now she's in this episode. And it makes us actually respect her character a little bit more where we like her. But besides getting onto that, let's actually talk about all the dialogue. So we quickly pick up where the events of the last episode ended on with that romantic scene, which I ship. I ship those two so fucking hard. But we qu quickly pick up after that scene, and we have a conversation in the dorm and all that, and they are pretty much talking about, oh, you misunderstood. You misunderstood about it. Like, you know, it wasn't anything romantic or anything like that. And then the situation got worse and worse as, you know, time went on. So I wonder if that's going to kind of go into anything in the future, or if that's just going to be kind of brush to the side. Like, it, you know, that scene, even if at that time it wasn't meant to be romantic, I wonder if that's going to open the doorway for romance between these two characters. And actually, factoring everything in, let's look at all the characters we have here, like the cast of characters. We have three female and three guys. We, we have the perfect pairing for, you know, the couples right now. So, everybody can get, you know, a boyfriend, girlfriend. Everybody can. And... In a way, this is actually kind of an interesting setup, because usually these series, especially when it comes to, you know, like series, light novel series or whatever, that focus on, you know, alternate reality or, you know, like a game top world, usually it's one male character and he's surrounded by like six to seven females, like a harem. And seeing this type of setup also adds a breath of fresh air to the series that I am really enjoying. Even though there's some fan service here and there throughout the entirety of these episodes, it wasn't so much that it made the episodes overbearing to be like, oh my god, is that all you care about? You know what the studio cares about? And it wasn't like that. And I have to say, I respect a series that actually tries to still, once again, develop, you know, the characters along with, you know, expressing how the world is, you know, interacting around these characters as well so back on topic though besides that the plot progression we got from these uh you know this episode actually mm, pretty much just character development that, that's it it was a slow paced episode for character development and that's about it i mean that's exactly what this episode was and as i've said that's not a bad thing i like series that also take the time to develop characters and i mean we needed some development for this character because i mean like i said she was a you know unlikable asshole in the previous episodes I and mean, now seeing her in this i can kind of like her a lot more and i'm willing to actually see her more on the screen and hear her talk at all because now i understand her situation so yeah, episode, eh, it was good, yeah, it was, it was good, and some might say it's slow, I could, I could see many saying that this episode is slow, I, I, no doubt about that, because, I mean, the series has been more slice of life orientated than anything else, and I, I'm a fan of those type of series, I, I like the slow pace series, depending on how it's handled, of course, and it has that right amount of pacing to where I just feel very happy about, you know, what I'm watching. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. How do you all feel about this episode of Grimgar? It did have its issues, but I mean, overall, it was enjoyable. So please be safe. Have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Chibi out.